I'd like to thank you for selecting this online course, Update on Bone Substitutes, What Every Dentist Needs to Know. My name is Dr. James B. Fine. I'm an Associate Dean of Postdoctoral Programs and Professor of Clinical Dentistry at Columbia School of Dental Medicine. What we'd like to discuss today are information that will help you make decisions about not just your technique on doing bone grafts, but more on selection of what's the appropriate materials, how do bone grafts actually work, what are the actual benefits, and what are their limitations to bone grafting that they don't always think about beyond the technical aspects. So local and systemic factors definitely impact your clinical outcomes. And there are many known unknowns that we just don't know everything about wound healing, about growth factors, and about how these bone grafting materials interact with the patient's own bone. Tissue engineering. Tissue engineering is now the term of the future. And prior we used the word grafting, then we moved into regeneration. But now, thanks to our medical colleagues, everything is about tissue engineering. Now, the outcome of these procedures depend on many factors beyond your ability to surgically manage the procedure. Wound healing, inflammation and control of that inflammation, but even down to the point of dietary intake of nutrients and vitamins, especially vitamin D, calcium. Also, drug interactions with cells involved with wound healing and bone metabolism, depending on what the patient's taking. And probably the one prime one that we're all concerned about are bisphosphonates. So we want to actually look at issues that are beyond the control of the technique. What's the long-term stability of each type of graft material? How long does A take to get incorporated into the patient's own bone? And how long after that incorporation does it maintain the volume in the health of a particular area. More of a bacterial genetic situation. But once again, what are our expectations out of providing a bone graft into the particular site? Now, areas to focus in on the implant patient also, and bone grafting an implant into that bone graft. What's the graft volumetric changes over time? So this graft has to be broken down and replaced by the patient's own bone. You wind up getting shrinkage and contraction of that particular volume. So the question comes in, how much change based on each graft material do you wind up getting? There are other agents coming out down the road. So we're going to find more and more medications that are going to affect bone healing metabolism in one form or another. And when grafting is needed, it's crucial to remember the aim of the graft is to be able to preserve the implant, of course. So if you want everything to work out, you have to remember the, the graft material itself sometimes is giving you a lesser outcome. I want to thank you for taking time with me today and going over this course. If you want more information about each specific bone graft material, we do have other lectures online that will fulfill this need.